In this video, we will look at a few examples to practice working with normal distributions. In example A, it says, look at the two graphs below. The first graph is the graph of the height of a child as he or she ages. The second graph is the cost of a gallon of gasoline as the years progress. Which graph represents discrete data and which graph represents continuous data? All right, so discrete data is data where it doesn't make sense to connect the individual points because nothing existed or at least not continuously existed between those points. Whereas with continuous data, it makes sense to connect the points because something was happening in between those points. So let's look at the examples. In the first example, we have the height of the child and there are some specific points and then a line has been drawn in. This would be an example of continuous data because even though there were only specific points taken for the height, the child was growing continuously over time. So it wasn't like the child jumped from height here to the height here to the height here in one second. They were growing slowly over time. So this is really continuous data and it makes sense to draw in that line. On the other hand, for the cost of a gallon of gasoline, that would be discrete data because in between these two times there weren't an infinite number of different costs in between them. So it's not like if you went in in the middle that you would pay exactly the middle of that. They might have been changing differently over time but it wasn't in a continuous way so it doesn't make sense to connect the dots in this case. So this would be discrete data. All right, let's look at example B. Jillian takes a survey of the heights of all the students in her high school. There are 50 students in her school. She prepares a histogram of her results. Is the data normally distributed? All right, to be normally distributed or to show a normal distribution, the data should be centered around its middle. So if this is the middle or the average value, the normal distribution looks something like this. So we want to see if this curve, her data, looks like the normal distribution. And I would say that it doesn't because, first of all, the highest values aren't in the center. It should be up like that. And also, there aren't that many sort of outliers in either direction on the edges. It's all pretty much constant with some various fluctuations. So I would say, no, this is not normally distributed. Example C, Thomas did a survey similar to Jillian's in his high school. His school has 100 students. Is his data normally distributed? All right, so same thing. We're looking to see if it has the general shape of the normal distribution. And again, it really doesn't. There's some variation as we go through, but there isn't this overall shape of the normal curve. So also this is not normally distributed.